Hello sewing people of the internet. This is going to be, at least for me, a relatively brief video, or at least it's not going to contain a lot of information. Um, I don't know how useful this will be to many of you, but this is one of those things that just seemed like something to try, and I can think of an application for it for me, and maybe you have a problem that you need to solve that this will help you with. Or maybe it's a terrible idea and you can tell me why and I won't do it in the future. Anyway, uh, I am making some covers for some audio equipment for a customer who is not local to me. And several of the covers only have three sides, so the back is open, presumably for wires or something to come out. So uh, the problem that creates is when you lay this onto the object that it's supposed to cover, these sides kind of stick out a little bit, they don't fall straight down. They may eventually just through gravity or something, but I kind of wanted it to fit a little bit better. So I'm going to show you how I made these covers stay in place in the shape that I want them to be, and we'll talk about why that may or may not be a good idea. Before I show you the uh, tip that I'm going to share in this video, uh, if you watch to the ends of a lot of my videos, you will occasionally see footage of me paddleboarding or free diving or some of the many other activities that I like to participate in uh, here in Florida. And um, at the end of this video, I'm going to do that, but it's going to be a much longer one. It's the kind of thing I would normally make a video for my second channel, The Jason Wins. Uh, Wins is an acronym for When I'm Not Sewing. Um, but this was a pretty special moment and I didn't want 50 people to see it. So check it out. And if you like that sort of thing, you might want to subscribe to my other channel. I'm really sporadic, even more so than I am on this channel about producing content for it, but occasionally it's kind of cool. So check it out. So the method I'm employing is I have this multi-strand electrical cable or wire. Um, I have no idea where this came from. I scrounged it from the shop that I inherited from my father-in-law. So uh, who knows what this is from, but you get the idea. You could probably go to your home improvement center and get some kind of electrical wire that would work, or maybe you can find uh, some scrap somewhere. Maybe you know someone who's in an industry that could provide you with some of this. Maybe a, a coat hanger might work for your application. But the general idea is the same. Basically, I'm just going to use a piece of wire as a stiffener to hold the shape that I want in this piece. I'm just using a combination of my fingers and a little teeny tiny hammer to straighten this out. And I'll file the ends down so that they're not sharp. Uh, you could maybe use like Plasti Dip or something to prevent the ends from being sharp if that was important to you. And I'm just going to cut this about an inch shorter than the total length that I need. Kidding. I'm not going to use my scissors. For my application, I'm going to apply a one inch mil spec 4088 binding to the end where I'm going to insert the wire. You could do a double fold hem or something like that and put the wire in, uh, I assume. I haven't tried that yet. I'm just doing it with the binding. I finished the ends of the binding by just folding them under and sewing them down on the flatbed machine. Now I can just take the piece of wire that I straightened and insert it into the binding. I cut my piece about an inch or an inch and a half shorter than the total length of the fabric and that way the ends will be inside. I'm just using another piece of wire to push it inside. Then I can just bend the wire at the point where I want the fabric to be more or less at 90 degrees. And boom. Obviously this wire is very easy to bend, so because this is a dust cover that's mostly going to be living on a piece of audio equipment, 
and then presumably removed so the piece of equipment can be used and then put back on. I think it'll be fine. It would be easy to straighten it back out if it were bent by accident. But there's probably many applications where this would not be a good solution. Maybe you want something more flexible. Maybe you want something that's more stiff. Uh, you know, sky's the limit if you can figure out something that you can insert into the binding or into a folded hem. I like for these videos to have, uh, you know, some practical application for you, the viewer, and obviously this is a pretty limited application, so I was trying to think of something that you could use this method for that might be practical for more than just somebody covering a piece of audio equipment. And I think I thought of something. So uh, there's an example of a way you might be able to use this technique. Uh, I'm sure you can come up with other ideas. Let me know in the comments below if you have an application for something like this, different materials that you might suggest, or reasons why this is a terrible idea. Anyway, uh, stick around for a minute and uh, enjoy the encounter my wife and I had with a wild animal. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you're watching this in real time, I think the next video you're going to see is a comparison between a walking foot attachment for a domestic sewing machine versus a walking foot machine. I'm curious to see how they compare. And if you are, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi. 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 Oh, thank you. He's right behind you, so don't back up. He might come up to me. Is he gentle? Is no, he... no, they're vicious killers. Don't pet him, though. Just he can touch the board, but you don't. Oh, he's pushing my board. Hi. Honestly, you kind of got fishy breath. He's bumping my foot. He's rubbing against my foot. Really? No way. Can I do that? Can you chew his bite? I don't think so. I, I, sadly, I think he wants me to pet him. And I say he, I don't know if he but I don't really want to push the envelope here, what we're supposed to do, because we're not supposed to... That's my foot. Yep, that's my foot. Okay, he's going underneath me. again.
I, I don't know, but this might be the greatest day of my life. He's not huge. What's funny is like, if he wanted to, he could totally throw me right off the board. Hey. You're being followed, by the way. He's right next to you. Right next to you. Right. Next to you. Hi. Are you following me? Hi. Oh my gosh. You're a gentle manatee, aren't you? You're a gentle manatee. Oh my God. He's got scruffies. He's got scruffies. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You want to touch my hand again? He's got scruffies on his nose. Felt like whisker hairs.